Now we are going to discuss very important topic which was asked in INI CET and FMG exam of 2020. It's mesenteric cyst. Very very important topic. Mesenteric cyst. Okay. So first question where is the cyst? So in this case the cyst is located in the mesentery. Generally mesenteric cyst is more common in females and in which particular age group? Yes, these females are in second decade. So generally age is approximately near 20 years clear what are the types of mesenteric cyst the most common type is chylolymphatic and what is the second most common type it is enterogenous okay so see the types of mesenteric cyst most common type it's chylolymphatic second most common type it is enterogenous third is simple or mesothelial and fourth arising from urogenital remnant so simple or mesothelial clear arising from urogenital remnant okay and dermoid these are the types so what are the questions first most common is chylolymphatic and second most common is enterogenous we are going to discuss these two cysts in detail so see what are the differences see the differences so first is chylolymphatic okay and the second is enterogenous it's very very easy to understand see just break it so if you break it chylo chylo means what kind of collection this cyst is having chylus collection and lymphatic so where is the problem problem is there in the lymphatic yes so there is congenital misplaced lymphatics where in the mesentery of ileum and in this what is the problem these lymphatics are having only afferent only afferent no efferent it means only afferent is there so there is only incoming of lymph there is no outgoing so if there is no drainage or no outgoing the lymph is going to collect in the mesentery leading to formation of the cyst so what's the problem it's characterized by congenitally misplaced lymphatics congenitally misplaced lymphatics clear so what is the problem what is mesentery mesentery is the lymphovascular supply can you see it's the lymphovascular supply of the bowel so what is the problem here here you can see there is afferent lymphatics clear and this is the efferent lymphatics what is the problem there is congenitally misplaced lymphatics with afferents only so there is only afferents there is no efferents so if there are no efferents what will happen because of afferent the chyle is coming and this chyle starts collecting in the mesentery and because of that you will notice that slowly slowly there is enlargement of this swelling so what happens there is formation of chylolymphatic cyst if you see this diagram this is chylolymphatic cyst here you can see that this cyst is having its independent vascular supply can you see it is having independent vascular supply and there is no shared wall and if there is no shared wall what you can go for you can easily go for enucleation now see grossly how this cyst looks like so here you can see can you see in relation to mesentery this is the cyst and can you see the chylus fluid collected inside so important points related here there is chylus fluid it is having independent vascular supply independent vascular supply clear and there is no shared wall and since there is no shared wall what's the treatment in these patients we go for enucleation the treatment in chylolymphatic cyst is enucleation now see enterogenous bracket entero means small bowel genus means origin so it is directly or indirectly originating from small bowel how see generally these patients have what duplication cyst these patients have either diverticular or duplication cyst 
what is the meaning see so this is the mesentery and these patients have diverticular duplication cyst now over a period of time can you see this is diverticular and it is walled off so when diverticular is walled off there are two separate lumens this is duplication cyst now the problem what is the lining of small intestine the lining is columnar epithelium and in small intestine in this columnar epithelium there is presence of what goblet cells so columnar epithelium and there is presence of goblet cells and these goblet cells are going to secrete mucin and this mucin keeps on collecting inside the cyst which one duplication cyst and slowly slowly you will notice that there is enlargement in the size of cyst so what's the problem here you can see that there is shared wall and shared vascular supply and if there is shared wall and shared vascular supply in that case if you want to resect the cyst you have to excise the accompanying bowel also so here the treatment is resection and anastomosis can you see in this picture there is shared wall and shared vascular supply clear so see the important points related to enterogenous cyst it arises from either diverticular or duplication cyst in relation to small intestine what kind of content is there mucinous so there is mucinous content clear and if you see the cyst can you see here this wall is shared and simultaneously you can see there is shared vascular supply also that's why in these cases we perform resection and anastomosis so the problem here there is shared wall and shared vascular supply so since there is shared wall and shared vascular supply how we are going to treat it the treatment is resection and anastomosis so the treatment it's resection and anastomosis clear now see the questions related to anatomy and the questions related to signs and symptoms now see what is mesentery and what is the extent of mesentery mesentery is fan shaped structure via which the bowel is hanged from posterior abdominal wall the extent of mesentery on the left side it starts from left side of l2 vertebra and it goes to right sacroiliac joint so this is the line of attachment of mesentery now the problem if you are going to notice a swelling in relation to mesentery generally this swelling will be moving perpendicular to the attachment of mesentery or the swelling will be moving along the attachment of mesentery so obviously the mobility of cyst will be perpendicular to the attachment of mesentery and this was the question which was asked for the first time in INICET 2020 and what was the question in INICET 2020 first time this question was asked tilox sign previously they were asking tilox triad but this time they asked tilox sign so what is this tilox sign yes here the cyst moves perpendicular to the attachment of mesentery clear here the mesentric cyst is moving perpendicular to the attachment of mesentery this is tilox sign what is tilox triad you will notice what kind of swelling is there cystic okay so there is soft fluctuant swelling in periumbilical region if you perform the percussion around periumbilical region you will notice that there is zone of hyper resonance why because cyst contains liquid so cyst is dull around cyst there is hyper resonance and it is moving perpendicular to the attachment of mesentery okay so this is the tilox triad okay so you got the difference between tilox sign and triad sign is only movement perpendicular to the attachment of mesentery so what is triad the components soft fluctuant swelling in peri umbilical region zone of hyper resonance around the swelling zone of hyper resonance around the swelling and moving perpendicular to the attachment moving perpendicular to the attachment of mesentery 
attachment of mesentery clear these are the frequently asked questions okay now if you are talking about signs and symptoms see this is the triad in majority of cases the patient is asymptomatic what is the age of patient 20 years more common in females and these patients have abdominal distension which is occurring over a long period of time it's slow so patient is having abdominal distension but the patients are asymptomatic what's the problem these patients young female 20 years old female unmarried if the female is unmarried she is not noticing the abdominal distension but what the aunties of that society or colony is going to notice that look that unmarried female is having what abdominal distension so we had two three cases clear where the girl was completely innocent there was nothing like this right so the problems clinical features most patients are asymptomatic and we discussed that it is seen in young females age 20 what is the symptom these patients have abdominal distension clear and that's why what is the first investigation done it's the ultrasound but what is investigation of choice for diagnosis cct so how we are going to make the diagnosis first investigation it's the ultrasound and the investigation of choice for diagnosis and that is cct clear and we discussed how we are going to treat if patient is having chylolymphatic cyst it's the e nucleation and if the patient is having enterogenous cyst in that case resection and anastomosis we discussed in which cases we are going to perform e nucleation so if you remember hemangioma liver leomyoma esophagus chylolymphatic cyst and insulinoma involving head of pancreas in these four conditions hemangioma liver leomyoma esophagus chylolymphatic cyst and insulinoma involving head of pancreas so in these four conditions we perform enucleation